Hello everybody, it is Nat here and welcome to my short course on GarageBand for iOS. This short course will be delivered for free via this YouTube channel and I'm going to pop it in a playlist. By the end of the course, we'll probably have about 30 or 40 videos, a few minutes, anywhere up to 10 minutes in length. So feel free to have a look at that playlist when it's completed and skip forward to anything you want to learn. Otherwise, I would suggest following the course from start to finish so that you can learn everything there is to know about producing music in GarageBand, the iOS version. I'm going to be showing you all of the examples on the iPhone, as I believe more people have uh, the iPhone version than they do the iPad. However, the iOS version works basically the same on the iPhone and the iPad. So if you're an iPad user, you can watch this course as well. You'll just notice that some of the graphical user interfaces are set up slightly differently because of the larger screen size on the iPad. You don't need any external devices to do this course. You don't need a MIDI keyboard. You don't need an iRig or any of the recording devices. All you need is either your iPhone or your iPad. I'm really looking forward to delivering this content to you. The GarageBand for iOS app has become a lot more powerful in the last few years with the uh, smartphone technology getting much better. So the Mac version of GarageBand and the iOS version are actually getting a lot closer in their ability to create release quality music. And I can show you that it's more than possible to use uh, the GarageBand iOS app to create music that you could easily release on Spotify, or if you are a beat maker, uh, you can make uh, hip hop, any, any style of beats really. And you can even sell these beats. You can license them to third parties um, or to an artist who wants to use the beat. I know many people who have used the GarageBand for iOS app to produce music that they've then sold, licensed, or even released themselves. So as I said before, this course is going to be delivered in the form of a single playlist on this YouTube channel, Studio Hacks. So if you're interested in doing the full course, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the alerts button, and you might also want to bookmark the playlist so you can go through each video is going to be numbered so you know which one you're up to. So thank you for your interest in the GarageBand for iOS course. I look forward to seeing you in the first video.